What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Coach Black, your internet relationship and breakup coach. Before we go any further, I want to take a second to say thank you for being here and for tuning in to another video. You could have been doing anything. You literally could have been doing anything, but you chose to spend a few moments with me and I appreciate it. Welcome to my home. I'm happy to have you here. Today's topic, why your ex does not want you. If you think about that question from the surface, you might have a ton of answers because your ex likely gave you reasons for the breakup. And if you did what most people tend to do, you called and you begged and you chased, they likely even gave you more and more reasons. Like, it's not you, it's me. And I have to work on myself. Or well, I'm going through so much in my life right now, I just cannot focus on a relationship. How do I know your ex says this? Because I talk to people like you every single day. And it's the strangest thing, but exes always seem to have the same reasons for breakups. I think it's because they know there's certain things that if they say, you can't really argue with. There's nothing you can do about someone who feels like they need to work on themselves. The reality is if your ex truly, truly cared, they would work on themselves with you. So do not focus on all of the reasons that your ex told you. I'm going to give you the secret right here in this video, why your ex does not want you. But before we go any further, I'd ask that you like this video right now. If you're enjoying the content, it really does help the channel and it's the least that you can do and I truly do appreciate it. It pushes out this video to other people that need the help and that have questions about breakups. Also, subscribe to the channel right now so you don't miss any of my future videos and my lives. I go live here on YouTube Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9.30 p.m. Central. So that's another way for you to get additional value. But let's hop back into the video why your ex does not want you and it's pretty simple but i'm going to explain it using an analogy that i heard from another youtube channel that channel is called psych hacks it's actually a really really good psychology channel i don't know the guy's name but it's a really good channel so you should check it out i'll leave the link in description below but anyway he was talking about exchange of value as i've said time and time again relationships are an exchange of value and in life life is about exchanging like you have one thing you exchange it with another person and this is what actually forms a relationship so if you think about your job you have a service that you provide to your employer and they pay you a salary for a relationship to happen there must be an exchange there must be an exchange right but i want to take this a step deeper so one of the examples that um this guy gave in the video psych hacks was um if you think about relationships and exchanging right it's not about exchanging two equal items because that will never make sense so think about it like this if i approached you with a dollar bill and I say, hey, I have a dollar bill and you also had a dollar bill and I say, hey, let's exchange. You give me your dollar and I give you my dollar. That would make no sense. And you would be like, why? What's, what's so special about my dollar? At least if I wasn't asking you to break it into quarters or something that would make sense for the exchange to take place because it's the same item. And so he argues that when an exchange happens, it's never an equal exchange. There have to be some perceived value difference. Each person has to feel like they are getting something greater than what they're giving or something that is more valuable to them. Here's another example that he gave that I love. When you go to a coffee shop and you go buy coffee, you give them money and they give you coffee. Right? It's not because all oh, these things are identical. It's because to you who has the money in that moment, you have more money than you have coffee and coffee is really important to you at that time. So you want to make the exchange and to whoever owns the store, 
They have a ton of coffee, but less money. They want the money in exchange for all this coffee that they have. Now, how does this apply to your ex? Understand that for your ex to love you, to want to be with you, to want to get into this exchange of value and enter a relationship with you, they have to feel like they are getting something of greater value than they are offering. So this is why when you're begging and chasing and trying to force your ex to be with you and you're apologizing, you're portraying yourself of lesser and lesser and lesser value. Because the truth is, if you were truly high value, you would have a lot of options. You would have no need to beg and chase people who do not want you. All right, so take a second to think about it. Every time you're about to send that extra text when your ex hasn't even responded to the last 20, you're reinforcing the mindset in their mind that if they get with you, they are getting something of lesser value. So why would they want to enter into this exchange? This is why I say silence and mystery is the best policy. You have to act like you have a better <laughs> opportunity out there in the future. And even if you don't right now, that's how you have to act. That's how you have to believe and continue to work towards making yourself better and making your life better. These are the only terms that your ex will come back when they believe that being with you is the best option for them. And quite frankly, when they see you as a greater prize than themselves, do not chase them. Do not beg them. Focus on yourself. What can you improve about your life today that will improve your position? And the better you become, the more attractive you will be to your ex and they will be the ones chasing you. It's very simple. So don't focus on your ex, focus on yourself and you will naturally attract them back to you. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. I hope you really enjoyed the video and if you did, you can go ahead and leave a like right now and comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're dealing with and I'll be sure to respond to as many comments as I can. If you would like to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, the quickest way to do so is to click the first link in description and we can talk about your situation and what you're dealing with. It's truly an honor to talk to each and every one of you. I'm blessed. I love it. And so I'm looking forward to talking to you either in the comments or on a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. Anyway. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.